I've known Donnie since I was 15 years old. We went to high school together. We went from a long distance relationship to 500 square feet. Long distance relationships prepare you to be able to work through many issues. And so one of those issues that can arise living in a small space is that there isn't much separate space. When people say, well, you can just go to your separate spaces, the only separate space is the bathroom. When I first bought the place, I thought it was just gonna be my bachelor pad. I had IKEA furniture, had a gigantic entertainment system, all the things that a bachelor could really want. But when Nicole moved up and we got married, it ended up evolving. Well, we decided that we wanted to be able to stay in this space as long as humanly possible for two people. And something needed to happen so that the space was more functional. And we needed some sort of division to make it feel like we had more than one space. And I could feel like I was doing my thing while he's doing his thing. And what we settled on was this loft where we have our bed up above and just having the bed off of the main floor already gives us so much more space than we had before. Design took a little bit of time, and fabrication took a little bit of time because everything was custom handmade. We took a standard system, which is basically stud wall construction, and we replaced these wood members with these huge concrete panels. And the spacing of our concrete panels then became storage space, closet space, workspaces. And then we locked everything together with a platform sleeping on top, which structurally made the whole loft sound. Well, I love the top of the loft because I like to work on my bed, I always have. And so I can go up to the top and it's a really nice space that's above everything and I can work up there. My favorite part about the loft is the custom ladder. One of our dreams was always to have a rolling library ladder, we just didn't know how we would get it. We found a guy who works out of a space called Tech Shop here in San Francisco. He's a local craftsman and he custom built a solution just particularly for this loft and it turned out amazing. We always dreamed of having more people come and visit us, and the Murphy bed helped solve that problem. Traditional Murphy beds are a lot thicker, and so they would have eaten up a lot of the space that we have under the loft. But we have these amazing architects who custom built a Murphy bed that would be a lower profile so that it wouldn't eat up the space underneath the loft. And when it's tucked away, it's a whiteboard, which is really great for our space because it's right next to Donnie's standing desk. So he'll draw out his ideas for his apps, but I also use it for shopping lists and packing lists. What I love about this standing desk is it puts him right in the corner where he's out of the way and he can put on his headsets and rock out late at night when I want to go to bed up top. I don't even know that he's down there working. The closets for me are huge. I love personal organization and I love closet systems from the container store, the Alpha shelving systems. We measured and we gained a ton of storage. Almost in a way it feels like a walk-in closet to me. It's definitely the biggest closet that I've ever had, so I'm really happy with it. I decided I would give him that closet in the loft, but that's because I've got all these closets back here, so my closet's still bigger. Throughout the loft, there are spaces above and below where we've put in different cubbies and boxes that pull out of varying sizes. Both of us at times work out of our home, so it's really important for us to be able to have places to put papers and all sorts of business stuff. It forces us to organize and categorize. So that's probably been one of the coolest side effects with the cubby holes and, and the boxes that we keep in there. When this place was a bachelor pad, I never had really much space to entertain anybody. So the addition of the dining nook has been really cool. They built this really great bench into the loft design and then we have a dining table that pulls out from a side console and folds into this really great dining room. We could probably get eight people at that table because it has multiple sections. It's also a second desk and it tucks away to the side when we don't want to have dinner. Because we have a lot of windows, there isn't a lot of wall space in our unit, and the wall that we had our TV on before got taken up by the loft. So what we have now is an 84-inch projection screen TV that pulls down from the ceiling. And when it's tucked away, you barely even know it's there. I love it because we can watch it from down in our recliner chairs, perched up on top of the loft. It's a dream come true. What I think the loft has done for our relationship has actually just made us closer. That's been one of the biggest blessings. The best part is really to see the clients actually using the space when they actually stand at the desk or when they climb up there and sit and watch TV. We're happy with the way it turned out. This loft was really our way to extend the life of this unit for us. And I would say having this loft changed our life. It took a one-dimensional bachelor space and made it a multi-dimensional family space. What I imagine will happen is that we'll have our first child in this space and we'll stay here until the kid is walking. And that's one of the reasons we have the Murphy bed because when I'm nine months pregnant, I doubt I'm gonna climb up that ladder. <laughs>